Fur is low enough to die to a grenade, but Pasha going to be sneaking in no scoping. FNX, and now Fur, that one HE grenade from Pasha could settle this round that would be so painful for the SK team. Sneaking down, they're trying to stay in the back lines. Fur doesn't want to get spotted. Pasha's very close, making a little bit of noise, and oh my god, he gets that shot! Absolutely ridiculous, and that's going to be the round versus Pro. They pick it up regardless, and all hail Papa Pasha. This is absolutely ridiculous. Dennis is going to have to do quite a lot here. No smoke on him, so he should just be able to free roam with the AWP. And there we go. Flicking away. Make that four. Can he get the fifth as well? Oh, yes, he yes. can. What a oh. spectacle. That was insane. That's what we want to be seeing. He's playing this out correctly. Spots up. Smith spots up the second as well. I'm not sure why my mic is going absolutely insane. Hopefully that's not oh. right. Leading over Cole. No. He might do it alone. Oh, is it really oh. happening? It is. Cold Zira makes it a cold day in hell for G2. And it's the first time since last <laughs> year at I Buy Power Cup that I've casted a 16-0. What can you say? It's a five on two. Nitro does have a model of another smoke, so it could be really rough for Symbol to actually get through this. He's gonna throw the AWP in. Oh my god! Symbol, what is happening? What he, even is that? That's you can't even say that that's a fake. What did he think? It was going to be an airstrike coming in with a missile from the sky? What is Simple actually doing? <laughs> it was just like fake, you know? He's like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah, that's all. It was pretty cool indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, Simple and Navi. Epá, eu por mim, olha, aí está ele a controlar o jogador, a mandar o jogador. And they know now where nothing is, but Skadoodle's the other aspect in this as Cold falls immediately. Full back, full back. Yeah, save this AWP. He's got two, goes for the shot. That's smart, does get Skadoodle. Jumps up, still a bit of time on this. It's gonna be a 10 second defuse. He's gotta hit the shot right oh! now. Fall and does it through the box on a no scope, but I'm still not convinced he's got the time. He has. Oh my God. Oh my God, Fallen. That is absolutely nuts. I'm speechless. That's one of the most incredible plays we've seen this tournament. If not this year, four kills for Fallen. Catching seized in transition and Guardian. It is a style kill there coming through. Followed up as well. Still another two to go. Guardian now with a triple. Just what the hell is going on? There should be no way. One versus four with an AWP. They know where you're coming from. He's going to tap the bomb once. Rubino, is he tempted to go out? He's going to be walking in. Guardian turning around. He sees him. Oh my god! God, it can't be real. Picks it up. Unleashed. And that is going to be one of the most ridiculous one me fours I've seen in a long time. Pissed around one by SK, and they haven't gotten a single round after that. Get right. Oh! oh! What is that reaction? Get right. Get out, Fur, and now Fallen. He's on top of the roof, but what a shot. Tipple's gonna hold up, but he won't get spotted just yet. They may catch Bialy off, does with an eagle shot, lovely so. A bomb planted. No kit, does have armor, if he can just grab an AK. Oh, 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 okay, oh. wait, Tipple's gonna go. That's enough, he's got two one-taps, he's feeling it. Deagle shot's in, he's picked up an AK as well, and he's electing to stay with the pistol. Simple, he's up to the third, and the AK pulled out! Oh my god, Simple! Four kills on a round that he didn't even look like he had a chance, and then fused to go to 14 for Na'Vi. Finally, Na'Vi get a bit of that Snacks magic working for them. Simple with the Desert Eagle. Try and compensate for giving Liquid so much room and time to oh, work with, but God. a leash! That accuracy is so good! That high sensitivity, and he makes it look so easy as he flashes over his own flash! And a leash is an absolute animal right now, as Benton will fall trying to pull back into the catwalk position. He but, stepped up in Cologne, and he's oh. doing it now as Lecro's gonna fall! Absolutely on down. Twist shouldn't go far from this position, knowing he's got to save it, and here it comes! All five from Elise. The last one, just the icing on the cake, but those first four shots were incredible. This is very, very good. Oh, the spot's one. Easy shot. Full back and rotate all the way back into the outer position where he's already given up. Going into secret, they want the ramp. Again, they've had the most success distilling Michael Lilly. Like you say, he's playing it conservatively. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's giving them a bit of room. 
And that kill on the Michaelele is going to open up this lower site. It pulls Ket right back, but he found a kill immediately before that on the low HP player that was trying to push in. Now down ramp, he's set for position on the left side. First shot's very easy. Knows that they're on wow. the right. Lovely shot, and get right with the ace. Unbelievably sick there from Get right. Is there enough time? Oh, they spot him out. Smoke is going to be going up. Flashbang as well. He's inside. Can they stop him? Two seconds left. Config. He's going for the defuser. Oh my god. He's going to get a dig. That's how they win that round. What an unreal ninja. Stewie pushing in, looking for a counter reaction. But oh no. How has he gotten here? He's pushed right past them. Nobody was even watching it. He's crawling behind them. However, he's losing his teammates, so he needs to strike soon. There's the first one. Tom will get into his second, trying to shut them down more. He's gotten all his all he can get for now, but he's got to watch out for the staircase. There's a player lurking behind him. He hasn't seen it. And although that was a great flank, it seems to have had very little effect on the overall outcome of the round. Automatic was still on his way back over here. However, that's a great edge shot. Finding Rush, and now he's got it down to a 1v2. The smoke will let him back into the site, but close encounters, unfortunately. Tarek is sitting just below that. It'd be dangerous. Oh! Automatic jumping and he gets the last one as well! Automatic with a huge clutch! You cannot stop Cloud9 right now! Yeah, Cloud9 can do no wrong. What a performance for Automatic. One versus four. And the AK in hand. Slow, methodical play. Not working out for most of the players, but for Skadoodle. Hey, he may be able to bring this back. If he can grab this kill, he's brought it back to the one versus one. It's six versus Skadoodle. And Skadoodle brings the one v four home. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> to just Snacks. Does find one. Oh, no. Let's not leave him out of this. The Big Apple and Snacks is hungry. He's got one kill already on the USP. Low HP as well on Guardian and Flamey. He's trying to bait them out, trying to get them into one on ones as he dances back and forth between the box. What a shot on Simple! Oh, Guardian, bye bye! And it's on to Flamey. He's tapped it. Flamey's got a big. What in God's name is that from Snacks? never seen anything like it. What the hell was that? That's got to be one of the sickest pistol clutches I've ever seen in the entirety of CSGO. Grand finals time and Snax pulls this off. What the hell? They can't even believe it. Their heads are on their foreheads. Get wrecked. We said Navi might have got momentum. That's gone. What an unbelievable <laughs> pistol round. Yeah, this is, uh, all five members are not here for Winterfox. They have nowhere to fall back to. It's Skidoodle. He gets one kill and he gets actually damaged through. So Zuzi's very low. That's a second kill. This is some old school Skidoodle jumping up. More information, a fourth kill. And he can get the ace. 